If you're not an EPC member, there's no point in watching this video. All right, team, this is the uh, Gym Aware station on the wall. If you roll up here, see in there we've got two Gym Awares and uh, uh, one iPhone I touch. So one on the left here, this is if you've got your own iPad or iPhone and you want to connect to it, so it's not linked to anyone. This one here is linked to this iTouch, so anyone can come and use that. Uh, what you want to do is unplug them and you'll fire it up by pulling that. You'll see the little light come on and hear the beep. And we'll get the, uh, the eye touch here and we'll uh, unlock it. All right. And on the main screen here, you can see I've got Gym Aware Lite and Gym Aware Pro. So we'll go into the Gym Aware Lite. This is if you just want to capture some of your speed measurements or basic stuff. And you'll see it doesn't say connected up at the top. It'll normally say connected. Um, so it won't allow me to, to do anything. So if you have this issue, I found the best way to do this, deal with this is actually just go into settings here and Bluetooth. And you can see Gym Aware 17, that's the one it's linked to. And we'll just connect to it. And you hear it beep, now it's connected. If that doesn't work, which occasionally it doesn't, the easiest way is actually to go in here and hit forget device, turn the Bluetooth off, turn it back on. Yeah, the beep says here. So like I said, forgetting the device and then restarting the Bluetooth and reconnecting is the best way I've found uh, if you have issues, works uh, solid every time. But there is also a small hole right here. So this is supposed to do it as well. If we go up here, you've got the handy dandy paper clip and stick it in the hole. But uh, that's supposed to reset the device as well. So they're connected now. I'm gonna go where in the Gym Aware light. We can hit our test subjects and select our exercise weight. Um, and uh, you can review your last sets, do all that stuff. You'll figure all that out. Or if you wanna get entered in the uh, online database, which compiles everything together, we go into the Gym Aware Pro in here same thing, set up test. And in here, you've got a name at the top, so you can click on the name, find your name. If you're not in here, you can just use, and you're working in a group, you can use a placeholder is the person. Um, or we're gonna hit Adrian Larson, so on, and uh, select exercise, select your exercise, bar weight. You can film it. Uh, with either of these apps as well so if you do that you'll have to uh, save the video so we're gonna go start oops sorry video and record it and I'm gonna hit some reps here boom boom and we're done so now I'm gonna we took our video we're gonna review last it's going to show our video. So I want to go click on this video tool here. Video tools. So you can set up and change different things. Line graphs and um, grids. What your target is. But click this save video button here at the top. Save video. Alright, video is saved. So we can exit this app. And uh, we use this uh, photo transfer here. You'll need to be on the wireless to transfer uh, the photos. Uh, you'll have to get this app, but you basically can transfer that video from this iTouch to whatever your device is. And if you're not in the database, your name, I will have a clipboard over here, which I haven't put up yet. So you can add your name to it. Next time I'm in the software, I will, I will get you added in there. And that way we can, we can compile everything for, you know, eternity. Um, all your sets, reps, uh, basically all the data about those bars, run reports, all that stuff, which typically we don't do, but it is available. And one note, we did have a problem with uh, breaking one of these, so if you're out there, don't let it drop straight to here, and uh, you can break that, uh, break that little string off.